well, moving on to the manager then. Nah, well, the the thing is with Pochettino, he 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 sees things in players that other managers previously haven't. Mm-hmm. Like in terms of position wise, like Dyer moving him to centre mid. Um, you know, he's put he put Lucas up front sometimes. He's put Sissoko. Sissoko he's turned into a great a player. Sissoko's season, been the yeah. biggest one. You know, me, yeah. Davis the into centre back. Davis into centre back now is another one on the list. I mean, the guy is is no wonder he's been all the links with Man United or for Pochettino. Everyone goes on about oh he hasn't won a trophy, he hasn't won a trophy. It's why Man United is so desperate for him. Yep. And if he has, and if this he, is what if, I love. If, if, if he's not, it's the he same not people job. saying that he's not the man he is because he's trophyless, can't win a thing. Yet the so called great club. And he's perfect him. for Man United. Was perfect for Man United, despite not winning anything. <laughs> when all they all they're known for really is winning trophies. Like even Mourinho has won three trophies for United, yet mm-hmm. they're going to go sign Poch, an yeah. unproven manager yeah, 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 who yeah. can only get Champions League spots. I mean, it's a bit funny that. <laughs> mm. Exactly. I mean, all the talk at the moment is of. Oh, you saw the press conference today. Yeah, I saw. There was a big moment between the Sky Sports reporter and um, Simon Felsey, actually. Yeah, I saw that, but. That didn't that didn't fill me with such confidence. So, but basically, what happened was um, the uh, Dharma chef. Uh, I think I said you said yeah, it, and the Sky name, Sports yeah. reporter yeah. was trying to ask a question about Man United um, links to Pochettino again. Um, you know, in the second press conference in a row, and he was shut down by the the Tottenham media. Uh, press officer yeah, yeah. the Tottenham press yeah. officer and um, he refused to let him ask a question pretty much about is because he, he completely he, cut the interview as well pretty mm. much yeah they said no yeah, yeah, they cut, so the, cameras, cut the cameras and they cameras, said yeah. um, they spoke about this 48 hours ago and they're not going to make every uh, press conference dominated by Man United links so he refused the question especially what because they will do it for the next six months they, of course as well. they will of course they will what do, what, do you, what do you think about that interaction it's a weird one because I think why don't they just why doesn't he just come out and say I don't want to go why is it all have to be very cagey and behind closed doors? That's and how this kind of stuff? Is. I think that's he's, how Spurs are, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Like, even if you just look at the way players tweet and whatnot, we don't do what the Arsenal players do and just go all out. Like, Danny Rose is probably the only one that actually speaks out about things, yeah. which I do love him for that. Yeah. But I feel like that's just how our whole social team run our club because I feel like almost every single tweet or post by a Spurs player is reviewed by the club. 100%. So they can't put anything out really without their permission. So. Um, I think that's just them just almost in a way sticking to a brand and just mm. playing everything safe and effectively not do a Sol Campbell again. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Pochettino like, knows everything's gonna, everything he says is going to be analysed to the yeah, degree. Everything. I'm just asking the question here. I don't know if I agree with it or not, but you're talking about Pochettino who, who's come out and said that he wants to emulate people like Arsene Wenger, Sir mm-hmm. Alex Ferguson. Can he really emulate them at Tottenham? Or do you think he has to go to somewhere where Man United, where he'll get an endless budget and he can bring through his youngsters so he can emulate someone like Ferguson and win titles year upon year and win Champions Leagues and stuff like that? Do you think it's possible for him to okay. Tottenham? Okay, my first almost like question back as an answer would be how long did it take Ferguson to win a league with United? Yeah. Seven years. Yeah. Seven years, and this is what, Poch's fifth year? Mm, yeah. Took him, I think it took Ferguson maybe three years to win an but FA Cup. It's different from what so. it was then. True. It isn't. Yes but... and no. Yes and no. Because I would say there are managers now who go, who like, you know, you look at Chelsea, not so much City, but more, I'd say, I'd say more like Chelsea who go for the quick fix all the time. Mm-hmm. They get, and they will get a league title usually within the first couple of years and then the manager goes and then the manager and then they bring in someone new and that model was different that model does work because you've got to say they've you know they've won three league titles but if Pochino wants to do it his way then it's going to take time that's what it is everyone in today's day and age as you said you know everyone wants it now everyone wants Premier Leagues yep. now everyone wants everyone is so short minded now. Exactly, short exactly. There's no, there's no long term view no. but that's what Pochettino is and so in that but in that sense I do believe that the long term project can still work in this day and age even though everyone wants uh, the Premier League titles now and within a year and then if they, he's not won a title get him out and get the new one in get another Premier League title get a new one in that's how it's working for the reason, the, big because clubs. the reason but I think it style can still work in the old way but do you the really reason, believe what? that in the current regime under Daniel Levy with Poch under Daniel Levy that we can take it to that next level and become a dominant force in England Look, I'm not being funny I wouldn't be surprised if once the stadium's done and some of the debt's been paid off Levy puts the club up for sale I wouldn't be surprised at all mm. so then if we do bring in someone that is willing to but it might be too pay late, a bit of money it? but also I think that when the, the whole long term project thing doesn't work with the other top six clubs because they spend 300 million every year mm-hmm. So there is a high risk, and obviously with that high risk being paid, they need the reward from it. And the reward being they want the trophy this season. Whereas it's been laid out clear for Poch throughout his whole time at Spurs, 
we can't provide you the money that Man City and Chelsea and Liverpool have for the players. We're going to start developing on youth, which has obviously worked with Kane, Winks, um, bringing in young players like Deli Alley yeah. to the squad. It has worked. Whereas, like, we, he doesn't necessarily have that risk in the sense, like, to. So, in a sense, I'm just saying is that the long term will work for us because we haven't put the massive amount of money forward. But what does, I think working, mean? What does that? working mean, though? It's, Progressing it's working as a mean team. that we're going to become a force and win titles and win cha- win the big things. You know what I mean? That's well, what this is, but this is why I want to wait until the end of this season. Yeah. Because this has been our best start to a season, in, I think, in the Premier League yeah. so far. I haven't drawn a game. What was it? Four losses, but yeah. all the rest wins. Yeah. Quite a few in a row. Still, in every cup. still progressing in the Champions League despite the fact that everyone's written us off. Mm-hmm. This is a very exciting season for of us. Semi final of the Carabao Cup. Yeah. Of the Carabao Cup when we got knocked out by was it West Ham last year? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just waiting until the end of this season to see if we've won anything, if we really have developed, to then make a decision as to whether this can go anywhere. I think it's still far too early to decide right now because it's a very promising start, but we yeah. need to see it through for the rest of the season. Agreed. But, the, but I think Apocino prefers it that way, in a way, in a way, than just in terms of just buying your way out of trouble. He prefers to coach players out their way out of trouble. But when you look at the Man United way, that's not buying yourself out of trouble. They predominantly had youth and they bought, you know, maybe one player every other year or one player a year, a marquee signing. Yeah, but they've changed it, haven't they? Yeah. They've changed it since, uh, since uh, Fergie left. Let's be honest, they've gone backwards d- drastically, mm-hmm. really drastically. And realistically, if you look at the Spurs project so to speak Levy's just given him almost free reign apart from obviously splashing the cash he's pretty much given him free reign to coach the team how you like train them how you like and get them playing how you like Mm -hmm. I honestly don't think he'll get that at United I think Woodward will be far too involved with everything they're already talking about director of football well exactly which Pochettino is pretty much the one that got rid of the director of football at Spurs so he's not going to he wants to do everything himself and I just don't think he's going to get the backing the backing at United as he does at Spurs like the freedom at Spurs so if he if he really wants to see his project through already being four or five years deep into it I think he has to say and stay and prove a point to everyone that yes we can win stuff here which is why like I said I'm going to wait to the end of the season if we do win a trophy then I think we are 100% going in the right direction and he's going to stay and become a legend well be the a legend thing is, the thing is with Poch as well he's so young for a manager yeah, he can yeah. stay for five years and then go anywhere else he wants still exactly and, and that's, that's the whole thing yeah. with sorry just very quickly no, just no, the no. whole thing with Real Madrid as well with his links to them um, I can't remember which pundit said it but they made a great point of that that Real Madrid job will always be there for him because they Every they don't years. have long term yeah. they like don't have long term managers you know yeah exactly I mean? they're going to get if you don't win the Champions League and the Liga every single year they're going to get rid of you yeah. so he, and he can progress with us even if he goes to United or whatever regardless the Real Madrid job will always be there for him mm-hmm. so it makes sense for him to turn that down and continue with us and I think as you say he's a young manager and I think we have seen him at Spurs progress as a manager and to the state to the uh, to the point now where we used to question a lot of things but you know, substitutions during his, his substitutions, his squad rotation, yep. all these things, and they're improving. This season, they've been near, you know, a lot of the times, all been of nearly games. spot on. Inter, exactly. PSV, been absolutely fantastic. Ch- all turned Burnley. around. Burnley, exactly. yeah. So he's, he's, he's learning all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like Lorente. Oh, Lorente. <laughs> he's getting better all the time. Just with our squad, he's a manager, a young manager who's also improving. So who know, who who's to say that? I don't know who's to say that he'll go to Man United. What, why would he go to Man United when he hasn't finished the project that he's yep. that he started here at Spurs? I think he's going to start all I over think again. Want to win something. Completely yeah, new. Have to learn the squad, learn how the club want it run, because realistically, it's not going to be his choice. And it's it's almost it almost seems daunting in a way because mm. it's such a big ask being the manager of Man United, the probably the biggest club in the world in terms of fan base and yeah, terms, and history and whatever. In terms so of someone with ambition, then you're going to take that job on. Okay, but wouldn't it look wouldn't it look better taking a team like Spurs and turning them into a powerhouse just buying your way and turning them into, the, into the one? Of, yeah, then just buying your way in. Yeah, well, cool. I, I think I think I think that's what Poch prefers himself. Yeah, I think exactly. That's how he that conducts. Because that way you are creating a legacy mm-hmm. rather than just being like Mourinho coming in, starting off great, winning a couple of trophies, and then leaving. I mean, there, I mean, you know, there are periods uh, at Spurs where he's gone through patches where you know he hasn't won games for like five games or something Mm -hmm. and and obviously at Spurs you he can tolerate that and you can get through and then get get you can improve again and then you know he could either change his formation or whatever and come back but you know bigger clubs at United he might not get that luxury so like I feel like he's a manager who 
who's in it for the long term. He do, he does. He's not. I don't think he's interested in like one year or two years stints of these big clubs. Um, I th maybe in the future, once his job is finished at Spurs, then I think, yeah, he would probably consider it more. But I think this summer, yeah. us moving to new stadium, his, new this stadium. Squad, I, think, I think that's the key yeah, factor exactly. here. That is the key exactly. thing: is the new stadium. You're going to want to play at least a whole season. In not just go for like two months if we you know say even he's been March. talking about it for the last two years this exactly stadium. everyone this like all the players are loving well. it everyone he has made the squad such a unit in time it reminds me of like the England squad as well what Southgate's done there just made them all a unit and work great together and I feel like he is almost the glue for everything this wouldn't have happened seven years ago ten mm -hmm. years ago with different managers this squad is his baby. Yeah, he's brought up. He's brought it through pretty much since he joined. Like it was a mess when he came. He had to yeah. clear out oh, so yeah. much rubbish. And if you don't agree with him, you're out. Look at what exactly. happens to Walker. All he said he says like, "Don't agree with the way things are going." Yeah, he's like, "Okay, it. see you later. Go. You're gone. Why yeah. not?" And I like that because that that is very Fergie esque mm -hmm. in the sense that if you are not going to play to his way and not listen to him, that's it. You're done. Yeah, hundred percent. Go You've got yeah. to listen to him, and that's what I love about him. And I think he has the potential to be an absolute legend and take us places. Um, and I think this is a great year to try and prove it. I completely agree. Uh...